Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that octagon. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats, and even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, Alex Perez! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway on one side. You have fighters who does everything well. On the other side, gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Beautiful strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice leg kick. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big kick land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. These guys throwing early. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Got clip with the right hand. Big kick land. That is a stiff jab. 
right hook attempt. That's a miss. Shot to the body is blocked. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Straight right hand now just misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Gets the other one into the target. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Real quick leg kick. Strong hook lands. Leg kick lands. Great punch landed with so much power. Throws the right hand there. Back and forth we go. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Slips to avoid the right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? He lands with the left. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, Lance flush with the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. You don't know when that leg kicks something. Nice uppercut. Just out of range with that left hook. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Hands high, hands high. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no so. That's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch. 
punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Another big leg kick land. Clyde throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Side leg kick. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. There you go. Look, look at him whip his hip into that kick. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like yeah, he's really good. Oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both guys landing big shots. jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, big punch land. Blocks the shot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Straight punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Final seconds. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice kick. Connects with a right. Beautiful. Blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick lands. He missed with that jab attempt. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent who's very bad. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to eat power shots here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice head kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Blocks the shot. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, seven seconds of the third round, Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! Well, 
we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he 